Hello guys, this will be a short video and I will make it to try to answer this question from Boomchick. Uh, I am working on a platform game, so I need to save and load system, which will save when save button is clicked, the player position, the current scene and which it is. So I made a simple example here to try to explain how you can achieve that. In this example, at the top it's showing the current stage. You can enter this door to move to the other stage. I've just made two stages, but that's not the point. You can make so many as you want. When the player enters the door, it changes the stage. There's a save button to save the current stage and the player's position, and a load button to load the player to the saved position and to the saved stage. This approach is simple and works really well if the stage is created statically, like you created before at the editor, and don't need to save like change it objects in every stage. If you have a lot of different objects like equipment or something like that and you need to save everything then probably you will need another approach. And to show here what I am trying to say, here I have created a stage 1 and a stage 2 and we can see that they are different scenes and so to change a stage to another I just queue the current scene and create a new one. And we have another scene for our menu and our main scene. Here at our main scene we are preloading our stages and our player and we are using signals to inform when our stage dies and the new one should be created. And here our main stage will check if the global stage is 1 and if so we will add the stage 1 and we will connect a signal to it. This connection will just make our main scene listen to this dead signal that can be sent by the stage. If you have doubts about signals, I have a video that I am explaining signals in details and you can watch it through this card. If you have a doubt about anything else, please leave a comment and I will try to explain it. Ok, going on. Here we are connecting to other two signals that are sent by our menu. One signal to save it and other signal to load it. We will see how they work exactly further. Here we are loading the player position from our singleton. This position of course needs to be previously saved. And we will have the save function that will be fired when we receive the save it signal. And the save function save the player position in the x axis, in the y axis, and the current stage. We will have this load function too that will be fired by the loaded signal. And this function just update the positions of the player and the stage and reload totally the stage. And to finish the script, we have this undead function that fires with the dead signal. And this function just kills the player, changes the stage and reload the scene. And this is our global script. This global will have the position of the player and the stage. And I have made a custom function here just to set all the variables with a single call. But I'm not sure if I will use it. If you have some doubts about singleton or autoload, I have a video about it. I will let it at the description. And here we have the code to our stage. Both our stages have basically the same code. The only difference is the global stage variable that changes from 1 to 2 if the stage is the stage 1 or stage 2. And we have this function that fires if the player enters the door. And this function updates the player position and emits a signal that to our main function to kill the player and reload the scene. And at the end, there's a queue free to kill the current stage. And to finish, we have our saver script that's a singleton 2. And I don't will cover it step by step because it's really similar to the script that I've used and explained in another video. I will let the link at the description if you want to see. But basically, here we have this save data function that receives the player position and the stage. Then it creates a dictionary, set the data to our global singleton, open the file, save the content to a JSON file and close the file. And below we have the load data function that basically opens the file, loops through the keys and store the values to our global singleton. Then we can close it and that's it. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment and thanks for watching. Bye.